If you didn't already know that Laravel allows you to prohibit destructive commands, I'm going to show you that first, and then we're going to look at a addition to this that has recently been added. So let's go ahead and first of all, look at the ability to prohibit destructive commands. What does this mean? Why would we do this? Well, we know that when we are in a local environment, so at the moment my app ENV is set to local, we can do pretty much anything we want. So we can go ahead and roll back our migrations, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter because we're in a local environment. However, as soon as we switch over to a different environment or have a different condition for this, these commands become destructive because we could potentially lose a lot of data. So how do we go ahead and stop this happening in production? Well, Laravel already has mechanisms to allow you to potentially prevent these destructive commands being run by default. So for example, if I go ahead and run PHP Artisan Migrate Rollback when EMV is set to production, this will give me a big warning and it will ask me if I'm sure I want to run this command with no being the default selected. So the mechanism is already in place to stop this happening, but we can take it one step further. Now, this isn't something that is new to Laravel very recently, uh, but I'm going to show you that now and then I'm going to show you what has been added. So let's go ahead and use the DB facade and we're going to use the prohibit destructive command method on here. We're going to do this inside of our app service provider under boot or anywhere that makes sense for you. You can even create our uh, specific service provider for these things if you want to. Now into this, we can pass in a condition. So we can either just do this overall if we wanted to. That's going to stop this happening even in a local environment. But in our case, it's probably better to say something like app is production. So this will only prohibit destructive commands in production. So now what is going to happen? Let's just double check that we are still in production here. What's going to happen when I try and run something like migrate and roll back? Well, this is just not going to allow us to do this at all. It's not even going to give us the option. So you can see here we get a warning. This command is prohibited from running in this environment. So this can be useful. You might not have come across this before, but if you haven't, you now know it exists. But the question is, what is this new update? Well, it doesn't really matter because we've already learned a lot here. But the update that has recently been added is this rollback command here. So these three here and this one here. So wipe, reset, refresh and fresh already existed as part of this. The update here is just that the rollback command that we've be already been looking at has been added to this list of prohibited destructive commands. So if you didn't already know about this, you now do. And you can go ahead and use this in your production environment if you feel like it's going to be useful. But you also now know that an additional command has been added to this set of prohibited destructive commands.